This video is just a short add-on to the video about the spatial join um, because during the lecture we realized that on the computers um, of the JS lab um, the, this procedure didn't work as expected while it worked on my computer. And I don't know if this is an issue about the Windows machines in contrast to the Linux machine I'm using here or it's uh, the reason is that I'm using here a more recent QJS version than is installed down below. But the reason why the algorithm didn't work in the lecture is actually that the C14 dates that we used are in a different projection than the cantonal borders that we used to um, combine them. Uh, I thought in the first place that I will not talk about reprojection of vector layers before we come to the terrain analysis where this is strictly necessary but now since this problem occurred here um, I will just like to add this up. So in general it's most of the time it's uh, better if you do spatial analysis that all of your spatial data are in the same projection because some of the algorithms rely on the um, the files that are stored on the hard disk because they are actually external algorithms or QJS also uses algorithms from other JS programs and you never know what can um, happen if you do not specify or have all of these data in the same projection system. So that's the safe option, you always should do that. How can we do that? So I've just repeated the import of the data that we had also in the lecture. So I have the canton borders here, the lakes and the C14 dates and the C14 dates are currently a CSV layer. Um, so I just imported the CSV file. And if I look here to the file options um, or properties, I can see that this is in EPGS uh, 4326, so it is a latitude longitude system, while the cantonal borders are in this EPSG 2056, so that's the Swiss national um, projection system. And also my whole project is in this Swiss national projection system. To make sure that the algorithms work, we also have to transfer our C40 dates into this projection system. To do that, we can use uh, algorithm from the vector um, menu and here under data management tools you will find um, reproject layer, this option. If we choose that, we select the input layer and we select the target uh, CRS, the target projection system, and I would like to have the same here as we have with all the other layers. So I select here this EPSG 2056 um, and currently I'm just producing a temporal layer to see the result. So I click on start and there are no errors here so I can close this dialog down and you can see that now we have here some orange points overlapping the original C14 data points. So they are at the same spot projected on the um, Swiss National Projection System. That's fine. That's the kind of outlook that we'd like to have. And if I look to properties, we can also see now the CRS is set to the right projection system by reprojecting this data. Okay, if it's like that, I can export this file since it is a um, temporary layer, I could also choose this make permanent option, but it's the same if I do it like that. And I want to save that as S3 shapefile and I place that here, 14C reprojected. And another good way is instead of writing reprojected um, to specify in the name of the file already the uh, projection system that you used. So I can write EPSG 2056.shape. And now I know uh, without opening 
the layer in which kind of projection system it is. So I click on save and I click on OK for the export. And now I have a new layer here that has the C14 dates. And now I can use this reprojected C14 dates to do the same like we did before. So we did um, we did here. No, it was actually here. We used this um, combine um, attributes by position summary. And now I use the input layer, the canton borders, and the C14 dates here. I specify that I like to summarize the BP and calculate the mean of that. And I can click start and close. And now, if I look to the attribute table, and I switch actually to table view, also in older QJS versions, you should see here a calculated mean value of the points that are below the specific um, polygons. So with this reprojection, you make sure that both layers are in the same projection system and that the algorithms should work that rely on the spatial location um, and you don't run into an error if these projection systems are different.